All right, so this video we're gonna talk about Ohm's Law, how to use the equation, and how to draw very basic circuit diagrams, things you're gonna to have to do on a worksheet for me. Um, so starting off, let's go ahead and take a look at the question here. Um, so what is the current in a 12 volt circuit if the resistance is two ohms? All right, so they wanna know, sorry, the current, which is in amps, and they gave us voltage and resistance. So our triangle, We'll have V, or voltage on top, I for current, and resistance on the bottom. They want to know the current. We're looking for I, so cover up, and I equals velocity, or sorry, voltage divided by resistance. So in that case, it's going to be 12 volts divided by 2 ohms. 12 divided by 2, I don't need the calculator for that. That is 6. And for this one, I just have to know that current is in amps, or A. <clears throat> so that's the first part. That's the easy part, I would say. Now we need to draw a circuit diagram. Now there's a few, about three parts to a circuit diagram. The first thing we need is our voltage difference, our battery. And just like how a battery has that, that small kind of peg end and then that flat bottom end, our voltage difference is represented by just two parallel lines that one's just smaller than the other. And then we also need a current, or I should say a wire for a current to go through. So we just kind of draw it like that. And the current, the wires go from both ends. And then our circuit has to do something. So I'm gonna, and so we need a place for resistance. That's the thing that does something. Most resistance items are going to be lights. And so we just kind of draw a circle with three kind of squiggly things in it. Kind of looks like the filament of a light bulb. So voltage goes here. Our current is actually gonna go in the middle and then our resistance is that bulb thing. But in this case, I actually need to put the numbers in there. So the voltage we said was 12 volts. Let me go like this. Make sure I got my squiggles in here so I know what's my resistance. The resistance we said was 2 ohms. A little bit crooked, that's right. And when we calculated out the current, we found it to be 6 amps, so I'm just going to put that in the middle there. All right, so what I'm looking for here, when you do this on your worksheet and stuff, is I'm looking for this material right up here. So where you're showing me the triangle, showing me what you're doing, showing me your math showing me the answer of the correct unit. And I also need a circuit diagram down here. All right, so then once we have that circuit diagram done, we're pretty much good to go for that problem. So this circuit right here with the current, the current would need to be six amps if, there, if our circuit had 12 volts uh, battery and two ohms resistance. All right, so let's go ahead and erase that one. Let's scroll on down. All right, so for this one, they want to know the voltage, what voltage, what battery of voltage is required to move three amps through 15 ohms. All right, so my triangle, they want to know voltage. We only have one equation that has voltage. Voltage goes on top. Current and resistance goes on the bottom. In this case, I'm looking for voltage, cover up the V. If I put my thumb over that there, it looks like I'm going to take my current times resistance, so I times R. So in this case, my current was three amps. My resistance is 15 ohms. Three times 15, I could use a calculator, um, but three times 15 is 45. And in this case, of, I'm looking for volts, so that's my unit, volts. 45 volts, so that's a pretty big battery. That's a Quite a bit of resistance, though, for something. Uh, all right, so now I need to draw my circuit diagram. Let's go ahead, got my voltage part there, wires for my current to go through, bulb for my resistance, draw my filament in there. All right, so I know, starting off, I have three amps of current. The resistance is 15 ohms. That's a bad omega, that's all right. And after I calculate it all out, I know my battery has to be 45 volts. Pretty easy. Um, 
things will get complicated, more complicated if you take uh, physics. Uh, for instance, you're going to have series and parallel circuits. Those get fun. Um, where you have, you can have multiple voltage sources and they just add together. And then you're going to have multiple things that are in series and in parallel. And then you're going to have to figure out the amps for the different series, the resistances of the different things, and your total voltages and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to save that for physics class. So we're good to go with the current Ohm's Law thing. Good luck on the worksheet.